I and I watched uh, Vice President Harris for a very long time, and also the Biden administration. So I'm well informed with regards yep. to the nuances well, of American politics. What motivated you to want to try to contribute to bring the Democratic Party to the center? Well, I'm I'm not a fan of radical leftists. I know a lot about totalitarian states. I've studied the psychological origins of totalitarianism, totalitarianism since I was 13 years old. And it was a main part of my research work. It's been a central feature of my books, my all of my work, the, the fundamental genesis of my work in general. And part of the reason that what I've done has come to broad public attention is because of the work I've done on the psychology of authoritarian and totalitarian states. And they obviously exist on the on the right, uh, insofar as the right wing is defined by, let's say, ethno-nationalism, as in the case of Nazi Germany, but arguably, uh, perhaps beyond dispute, the worst totalitarian systems were radical leftist systems. And no one learns about that in junior high or high school. It's a, it's a secret. I mean, I taught about the Stalinist purges and Mao's atrocities in my personality course, at the University of Toronto and at Harvard for second year students. Um, and, but because I considered Alexander Solzhenitsyn who wrote the best expose on the Stalinist system, the most effective expose ever penned, won the Nobel prize for it. I considered him an existential psychologist, which is essentially what he was. And most of my students, although they were very educated and very good students had never heard of any of the communist atrocities, despite the fact that they were top right students and then beating the education system for 15 years. It's absolutely 100% inexcusable. It's inexcusable that the left, in fact, you know, in, in my field, um, in the field of psychology, especially social psychology, the bloody psychologists didn't even admit there was such a thing as left-wing authoritarianism until 2016. It was only right-wing, which is so preposterous. It's kind of a miracle of willful blindness and stupidity. And so there are a lot of radical leftists in the Democrat in, in the Democrat ranks, and the moderates will not draw a line between them and the radicals.